This video is sponsored by OWC. Here are 20 tips, tricks, and features that you might not know in macOS 12 Monterey. Gone are the days of right-clicking to save an image or opening up stacks of images just to save them to your library. There's now a very easy Save to Photos button right next to the image in the Messages app that makes the process a one-click solution for a single image or a batch of images. Did you know that you can measure the quality of your Mac's internet connection directly within macOS? Just open a terminal window and type network quality and you'll see your download, upload speeds and responsiveness all right there in real time. macOS 12 includes two new screensavers that are worth checking out, but specifically we're focusing on this Hello screensaver that pays tribute to the original Macintosh. You can of course find this and the other new one called Monterey by going into System Preferences, Desktop, and Screensaver, and then select the Screensaver tab. In macOS, you can now adjust the playback speed of video in Apple's native QuickTime player. Simply click the little arrows icon here in the bottom right corner of the video window and select your preferred speed from 0.5x to 2x. Safari got a big redesign, and one change that did not sit well with Apple users was this new compact Safari tab bar. This change was present during early Monterey betas, but was later walked back after the initial outcry. However, Apple has actually given those who did not mind this new compact bar the ability to choose for themselves by heading into Safari Preferences, click Tabs, and then select your desired tab layout. For those of you who just picked up a new M1 Pro or M1 Max MacBook Pro with ProMotion displays, well, if you're not a fan of ProMotion and you want to bump it back down to 60 hertz, you can actually do that by going into System Preferences, Displays, and then select the refresh rate that you want. With the Shortcuts app coming over to Mac from iOS, you can now add specific shortcuts to different parts of macOS. When you drag some shortcuts in the menu bar section of the Shortcuts app, a new menu item will appear in the menu bar listing these shortcuts, allowing you to control HomeKit devices from your desktop. If you want a quick and easy way to replace one of the applications or windows in split view, you can do this by simply long pressing on the green full screen button here in the top left of your application window, then select replace tiled window and then pick the other app that you want to swap out. You might already know this from your iOS device, but just in case you don't own an iOS device and you're seeing this on your Mac, you'll see that when an app is either using the camera or microphone, on your Mac, a small indicator light will appear in the menu bar just next to the control center icon. Orange dot means the microphone is in use by an app and green means camera. Just a heads up for those who were wondering what those colored dots meant inside of macOS Monterey. In Finder, you can now press the Option key while holding the pointer over a file or folder to momentarily show the path bar so you can easily see where the file or folder is located. You can also right-click a folder in the path bar to open it in Terminal or copy the file path to that folder. Lastly, you can also shift-click a folder to see or navigate to any subfolders in the same directory. This one's easy to miss, but Monterey includes an enhanced version of the go to folder menu bar option in Finder, or you can use shift command G for easier access. But instead of a dialog, the command brings up a spotlight style floating search bar that features a vastly improved autocomplete engine and even a recents list. In reminders on macOS Monterey, you can actually create custom smart lists. Smart lists gather reminders from all of your lists based on the criteria that you choose, whether it's a tag, date, time, priority, etc. And when you select your custom smart list in the sidebar, reminders that match its criteria are shown inside of this list automatically. In the Messages app, there's a new Shared With You feature that takes content you've received in Messages and makes it available in the relevant app on your Mac. Now in macOS 12, you can actually turn off Shared With You content from specific people by tapping the info icon in the top right corner and uncheck the box next to Show and Shared With You in the Messages app. There's a new Shared Collaboration folder in the Finder sidebar where you can easily find documents shared with you over iCloud or using the collaboration features in Apple's productivity apps. It can display information such as invitation status, the person who last modified the file, and other sharing-related metadata to help you manage your shared files. To add or remove the iCloud Shared folder to the Finder sidebar, select Finder, Preferences, click the Sidebar tab, and then click the checkbox next to Shared. In macOS Monterey, low power mode reduces the system clock speed and the display brightness of your Mac in order to extend battery life. 
So if you're doing less intensive tasks like watching videos or just browsing the web, you can turn it on in order to save more of your max battery. Open system preferences, click on the battery panel, and then in the sidebar, select battery and check the box next to low power mode. In Monterey, Apple has enhanced the Maps app to include a new globe view that allows you to spin the world around and zoom into different regions on Earth. In previous versions of Maps, zooming out would represent a flat world map, but the new globe view gives you a three-dimensional view of Earth from space that's a lot more fun to navigate. In the Mail app, a new feature called Mail Privacy Protection prevents senders from using invisible pixels to collect information about you. It does this by preventing senders from knowing when you open their mail, and it masks your IP address so that it can't be linked to your other online activity or used to determine your location. To turn on this feature in Mail, select Mail, Preferences, and then in the menu bar, click Privacy tab, and then check the box next to Protect Mail Activity. Thanks to the introduction of the Shortcuts app to macOS, you can now add shortcuts as quick actions to execute in Finder. Simply launch the Shortcuts app and then drag shortcuts from all shortcuts to quick actions in the sidebar. You can then make the shortcuts accessible in Finder's right-click contextual menu by checking them in System Preferences, Extensions, Finder. Convert Image is a new pre-installed quick action in Finder that saves me tons of time these days and is a huge lifesaver in my opinion. And you can quickly convert an image from one format to another. It also lets you change the file size from either small, medium, large, or actual size, and it lets you choose whether to keep the file's metadata in the converted image. To use the Convert Image Quick Action, right-click on an image file and then select Quick Actions and Convert Image. Choose your settings in the dialog that appears, then hit convert. If you've ever wanted to select text when viewing a document in Quick Look, then you know back in previous macOS versions, this was unfortunately not something you can do. But in macOS 12, you can now select text in Quick Look in order to copy and paste into other documents more efficiently. Now, before we end today's video, I do want to give you more information about today's sponsor, OWC. Even though Apple is adding some ports back into its Mac lineup, uh, you can still never have enough ports and flexibility, especially when you're docked at your desk. So enter in the OWC Thunderbolt dock. These three Thunderbolt 4 ports and four USB ports empower you to connect to the past, present, and future devices. You can connect up to two 4K displays or a 5, 6, and 8K display, high-performance storage including NVMe SSDs, AV mixers, phones, tablets, even desktop accessories like a keyboard or mouse. Now with the OWC Thunderbolt dock, an entire world of USB and Thunderbolt accessories is ready for you to connect and expand your capabilities. The dock comes comes in a familiar look and feel, has convenient slots in the front like an SD card slot, another USB-A port, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack for quick and easy access. And it's easily one of my go-to accessories when docking my MacBook at my desk. And of course, if you wanna know more information about this product or any other product that OWC has to offer, click the link in the description down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.